my like kids. So you're going to babysit, right? Uh, you know weekend? what? I'm literally really just <laughs> watching everybody. It's like eyes, eyeballs in every direction. Uh, She's good with kids. <laughs> it's now 9:39, and if you're looking for a great meal, Litchfield might just be the place to be this week. Yeah, we keep saying we want to go here. Date night if you need a babysitter. Uh, okay, there all you right. Go. We can have a girls' night too. Yeah, wouldn't that uh, be fun? Yeah, we all need right. one. You can head to one of Smithsonian Magazine's top small towns for the first ever restaurant week. And Kara takes us to Marketplace Tavern in Litchfield, where you can eat in a historic spot. Take a look. Hi, everyone. I'm coming to you from inside a jail cell. Yes, at Marketplace Tavern in Litchfield for Litchfield's Restaurant Week. This actually was a real prison, but these days, people just stay here for the awesome food. Back in 1812, they housed uh, British uh, soldiers um, for a long period of time. Um, after that, it, it stayed a jail. Um, until the early 90s, and it became a halfway house for ladies. Dave Bascolo is the area director for Market Hospitality Group. Four years ago, the site of this Revolutionary War prison became a restaurant. And we're about to eat with executive chef Matt DeLongas. So you have some of your favorites that we can come try. Tell me about what we're looking at. So we have for an appetizer, uh, tahi tuna crudo. Uh, it's a very simple preparation, just uh, citrus, olive oil, jalapeno, radish, some fresh mint. Ooh. Real simple, yeah. light, light and perfect for this time of year. So every meal, whether you do lunch or dinner, there are three courses. Yes. So then we move on and you've got some, uh, I guess these would be some of the mains. Tell me about this. So this is on our lunch offering. This is a uh, beef short rib fried rice, uh, edamame, bok choy, and uh, gochujang glaze. Just kind of like a spicy chili. Soy glaze. Okay. Back and you create flavor. all the recipes? Yes, I just created this last week. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, the, the philosophy is a lot of, you know, farm to table, but all this amazing comfort food, but it's really fresh, unique ingredients. Yeah, we just, we don't try to go too crazy. We like to keep it simple to relate to the people. Um, fried chicken, obviously, who doesn't like fried chicken? Yeah, this one right here. But it's not just regular fried chicken. Look at this. So this is buttermilk fried chicken, and then um, it has... Uh, Red list mashed potatoes, uh, some pickled celery to, to do something different, and some chili butter. I had the tough job of trying them all. Where should I start, Chef? Uh, the tuna crudo. Tuna crudo, okay. Um, everything looks so fresh. And that's another thing is that you love to use local ingredients, right? Yes, as much as we can, especially in the warmer months. Yeah. Definitely utilize all the local farms. Mmm. Mmm. It's so, oh, I taste the mint. Yeah. That is amazing. That spring is coming, yeah, for sure. <laughs> this is short ribs and fried rice. Yes. Oh my gosh, you don't even need the knife. This is like fall apart good, right? Yes. Yeah, that's the trick to a really good. So you get a little bit of a bite and everything, okay? Mm. Now, the buttermilk fried chicken. Mm. Crunch from the celery, right? Mm hmm. Mm. It's so good. So you got to save room for dessert because it's included in the. Oh, we love it meal. when dessert is included in Restaurant Week. Look at this. A what is this? Chocolate ganache cake with vanilla ice cream and fudge sauce. Oh, you knew you got my ticket. I'm a chocolate <laughs> lover, and every it's homemade. All the desserts. All our desserts are made in house. healthy too. Yeah, I'm sure. That is incredible. <laughs> okay, so what a day. I mean, to come for the appetizer and then the meal and then dessert. Plus, you have a whole bar. We're going to see the cocktails and the featured cocktails next. Yes. The bar is a great place to be at Marketplace Tavern Litchfield. And for restaurant week, you can try the 06759 Berry Fizz. That's the zip code here, of course. Matt Gilbode is the manager who explains why the drinks are so great. So one of the great drinks, we all work together on making a great menu that we know everybody's going to love. A lot of fresh, a lot of local produce that we use. We always do a lot of cooking down. We don't like to buy a lot of frozen items, and everything likes to be that hint of freshness. Yeah. And having a beautiful patio, having great liquor to work with, and having great bartenders is uh, what's key to running a good business. A look above you. It's, it's open, it's bright, it's cheery. You've got the overlook of West Street, and everyone who comes to visit us, uh, we always have a good time here. So we are going to muddle some mints. Then she adds some simple syrup, a Connecticut-made blackberry syrup, and lemon juice. And then we have the star of the show. Litchfield Distillery. Bourbon, that is. Jack Baker, the distillery owner, loves it here, too. 
What makes your liquor so special? Well, it's special in Connecticut and all over the country. We use Connecticut grains. Connecticut has great soils. We grow great grains, and we distill, we mash and distill from the Connecticut grains. Connecticut grown with a splash of history is just the way it works here. There's a lot of history in, uh, within the walls, and we tried to keep as much as we possibly can and put a little modern spin on it. Um, so. What do your customers say about what they love, why they love it here they so much? They just want to go and see a jail cell. They want to go in it. We, you know, we take the table out. They're able to go in there and you know, kind of, and, and see what, what was really going on back in the day. So we do have a, a new location that's open in Canton in the farming and shops, um, probably mid-May, and then we're building an actual another one in Sheldon right now as we speak. So it's a Mercado Kitchen Bar. We have one in South Bay, Canton, and Sheldon, and. Uh, there's a couple more projects in the mix, too. Meanwhile, Jen has finished mixing that berry fizz. Beautiful. Yeah, and then... Cheers. Nice little fizz. So cheers to the very first restaurant week for Litchfield. So good, so fresh. You gotta come on down to one of the beautiful restaurants here in Litchfield from now until the 31st. Definitely check out Marketplace Tavern Litchfield. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. you. Cheers. Invite us next time, Kara. Right. Right? <laughs> next time, Kara. <laughs> next time. <laughs> Litchfield Restaurant Week is going on now through March 31st. Yeah, that drink looked, it's 5 o'clock somewhere. It's absolutely. It's good. You can see all the participating restaurants by going to visitlitchfieldct.com or just check out the Channel 3 app.